Today, I'm happy to share our latest work with you. We performed the first security analysis and measurement study on the 3GPP ecosystem. From the 2G to 5G, the Sentinel network is evolving quickly and is used almost everywhere today. 3GPP, as a worldwide standard development organization, plays an important role. It brings together all the major telecommunications standard organizations around the world to develop the cellular network specification. This specification is supposed to be followed by all device manufacturers. It is obvious to see if there is a security risk in the 3GPP ecosystem, it may have a large impact in the real world. Some studies, including our paper, Bookworm, published in 2021, have uh, already discovered a security hazards in the 3GPP specification. But we believe these security hazards are only a tip of the iceberg because 3GPP has more than 3,000 of specification, and their specification development procedure is complex, involving hundreds of parties across 46 countries. So an in-depth security analysis for the 3GPP ecosystem is equally needed. Uh, to analyze the ecosystem, we study from two perspectives. First, we study the quality of the security-related specification content. I want to answer, does 3GPP has security-related specification poor quality? How do they look like? Will they lead security risk in implementation? Second, we study a specification developing procedure. Is there any security weakness in the developing procedure? What security consequence will be brought by them to the real world? For the first, 3GPP has thousands of specifications. Understanding the content of all of them is painstaking, not to mention analyzing the security quality and security risk. Luckily, we found a unique and valuable source in 3GPP, change request. For short, we call it CR. Before release, such as a set of specifications for 4G is formally for, uh, frozen. The drafts are published on 3GPP file server. From that point, all modifications and the specification need to be made through change request. And every change will introduce a new version of the specification. This procedure is shown on the slides. A change request specifies the reason for change, the details of how to change, uh, the consequence if 3GPP does not approve it anymore. In other words, change requests record all the problems of spe uh, 3GPP specification has been suffered, including the security weakness what we are instructing. In the meanwhile, as the slide shows, in the specification development procedure from the draft being published, a very beginning point, all the subsequent versions of the specification are developed by approving CRs. So in our research, when we study the specification developing procedure, we focus on the CR processing procedure. We want to study whether there is a security weakness in the CR processing procedure. 3GPP has more than 400,000 CRs. Not all are related to security. Some of them are proposed to add or delete functions. Some of them are used to make editorial modifications. So we need to identify the security-related ones, the SRCR at first. In our research, we find identifying SRCR is highly non-trivial because there are some SRCRs having no words related to security directly. One can identify them only with knowledge, knowing the relation between the content of the CR and the 3GPP security. In our research, we propose a machine learning pipeline that overcomes three challenges. Due to the limited of time, we omit the details. If you are interested, welcome to read our paper. Uh, using the pipeline, we identified 1,217 SRCRs with high confidence for further study. The successful discovery of SRCR indicates that the 3 gpp specification do have poor quality of security-related specification. Through analyzing them, we find the security consequences are diverse, such as DOS, privacy leakage, battery charge, and more. What makes us surprising is that a large number of SRCR proposed for inconsistent specifications. Let's see an example. 
Technical Specification 33.401 has a description. UE shall discard any message modifying the CSG list if it is not integrity protected. But Specification 24. 0.301 has many places violates the description. Let's see one of them. Except a message listed below, no NAS signaling message shall be processed by the receiving EMM entity in the UE or forward to the ESM entity unless the security exchange has been established for the NAS signaling. This description means during a specific procedure, uh, uh, during a specific period, the UE could accept attach reject message without integrity protection. And in a 24.301 specification, uh, when UE receives an attach reject with EM cause number 25, the UE will operate the CSG list. So according to a specification, um, we can find that during the specific time when UE receives attach reject Reject with EM cause, num uh, EM cause number 25 without integrity protection. The UE will accept it and further operate the CSG list. This violates uh, both requirements in TS 33.401. This violation may cause a DOS attack. CR number C1095554 uh, fixed a security issue. Added a description if the EM cause is not number 25 following the attach rejecting the specification. This is an inconsistent uh, specification case. The reason why we feel astonished for this cause is 3GPP has claimed that this strive to keep the consistency of the specification. But in fact, from our research, they we find they failed. Next, before telling our discovered weakness in CR processing procedure, let's see how a CR processes first. As the slide shows, after a CR submitted, it is first viewed by a working group. Really, it requires several rounds of revision. After agreed by the working group, it will be submitted to the corresponding te technical specification group and waiting for their revision. In the next stage, it goes through a similar revision like in the previous. Then after TSG approve it, the CAR will be submitted to update a specification into a new version. Later, the specification will be finally implemented in the real world. From this procedure, we can see from the beginning of a CR submission to the final implementation, every step takes time to process. But the problem is, 3GPP publishes every CR immediately after its submission. This will expose security critical information to unintended eyes. An attacker could exploit a real world system using the security weakness reported in the SRCR before the system patches. The CR processing procedure provides an attack window. Let's see an example, uh, CRC1, uh, 094446 is proposed to fix the DOS security attack. A UE should not receive detached request message without integrity protection at any time. This CR is proposed on 2009, October 12th. And 3GPP released a new version of the specification, fix it on 2009, December 7th. This means an attacker could leverage at least two months to exploit this vulnerability. Further, we try to attack three current popular phones using this vulnerability in our testing experiment on 2022, October 1st. We are surprising to find that a vulnerability has not been fixed in these real systems. The real world attack window is over 11 years. In our research, we also study how does the quality of security-related specification changes over time, and how does the attack window change over time. The results make us frustrated. The number of security-related specification increase from 2G to 5G. 
the length of the attack window also goes longer from 2G to 5G. For the inconsistency problem, we have not seen any sign that the pain of the inconsistency problem uh, would get better in the near future. Uh, finally, let's discuss future work and potential solution to solve the security risk we discovered in a 3GPP ecosystem. Uh, for the inconsistency pr problem, 3GPP claims they try to ensure the consistency and as a CR proposer to label the affected specification number. But our research shows this problem is still pervasive. We think fundamentally addressing this problem requires technical support, such as cross-difference for at least security-related content. Facilitating this effort is NLP or machine learning, such as achieving content indexing and uh, inconsistency discovery. We hope it will be studied in the future. For the attack window, 3GPP has his own vulnerability disclosure rule, not to share knowledge of the vulnerability with third party until 3GPP has resolved it. So we suggest 3GPP follows the same rule to publish the security related uh, CRs but even 3GPP specification updates, we find a non-delay before the real-world system is patched. So how to motivate manufacturer to follow specification is an open question. A possible solution is for 3GPP to generate well-designed conformance test cases for its security updates, which enforce manufacturers implement, uh, uh, implementation compliant with the specification. Uh, that's all. Thanks for listening. Welcome your question.